Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economic series, I will explain the definitions and terms of matrix algebra. In earlier video, I have given a brief intro about the matrix algebra or linear algebra. Now, matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, parameters or variables, each of which has a carefully ordered place within the matrix. That is to say, if I have this arrangement of numbers, this area of numbers, I can have here the parameters. Here I have taken the numbers. Now, every number has a carefully ordered place within the matrix. That is to say, every number has been carefully ordered. So, this is not a randomization. Every element has a carefully ordered place within the matrix. Now, numbers parameters or variables in this here these are the numbers in place of numbers there can be the parameters or variables so these are called the elements of the matrix so this 4 8 7 2 1 6 these are the these are the elements of the matrix these are the elements of this matrix similarly this 2 is also the element 6 is also 7 and 1 also now dimension of a matrix what is the dimension of the matrix number of rows multiplied by the number of columns gives us the dimension of the matrix that is to say here the number of uh, rows is 1 and 2 there are two rows similarly number of columns is 1 2 3 so i can say dimension of this matrix is that is dimension of this matrix is number of rows that is 1 and 2 there are two rows so i will write here 2 times the number of columns 1 2 and 3 so here the dimension of the matrix is nothing but the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns now row number always precedes the column number this row number always pre precedes the column number first we write the row that is to say r cross c so first we write this r and then after r we multiply by c we can't interchange the positions here so this precedes row always precedes the columns here it is 2 cross 3 this means the first 2 is the number of rows and the second one here it is 3 uh, depicts the number of columns so this row always uh, or row always precedes the columns now in a square matrix number of rows is equal to number of columns if i have a square matrix then let us say 1 4 6 2 3 8 9 4 1 here number of rows is 1 2 and 3 so 3 number of columns is 1 2 and 3 so the dimension of this matrix is 3 by 3 so in a square matrix number of rows is equal to the number of columns now column vector column vector is composed of single column and it is written as r cross 1 that is to say column vector if i have a matrix let us say b is a matrix if i have the number uh, column like one two three this matrix is composed of single column here the number of rows is one two and three but column is only one so this is written as r cross 1 since the number of rows here is 1 2 and 3 so i will write here 3 uh, th sorry 3 by 1 so this is a column vector column vector now row vector row vector is composed of a single row uh, row vector is composed of a single row that is to say if I have another, let us say I have E is a matrix and here I have the elements 1, 4, 6, 
now this row matter is a uh, vector is composed of single row here the number of rows is only one so the dimension of of a row vector is one cross c sorry one uh, one by c that means i have a single row and here the number of columns is one two and three so here the dimension of this matrix is one cross one cross three so this is the row vector row vector this is the row vector here now if i give another example let us say i will place a general uh, matrix here that is if i have a matrix general matrix let us say a is equal to a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 similarly a31 a32 and a33 now this is a general matrix composed of that is 3 cross 3 that is number of rows here are 3 and number of columns is 3 so the dimension of this matrix is 3 cross 3 now it is a square matrix here and one thing is to be remembered these uh, elements are not punctuated these are not separated by the punctu uh, punctuation marks now the elements have the double subscript here like here it is a11 a12 this subscript here gives us a gives us a unique position or address of any element this gives us the unique position of any element now if i have this uh, this element here that is a21 this a this two tells us the position in the row that is this is first and second this says uh, this is at second row and this one says this element is in the first column similarly if i have here a two three this two tells us that the elements the address of this element is at the second row that is first second so this tells us it is in the second row and this three tells us it is in the first second and third column so this these subscripts give us the address or placement of element in a matrix let us say another example if i have this a2 a32 this gives us the position that is here this gives us the position in which row the element is here the row is first second and third so this gives us position in uh, position of row position of row and this gives us the position of column position of column so these two give us the address this uh, address of this element here the address of this element is it is in the first second and it is in third row and second column so this is the row position and this is the column position here now if i have another example let us say if i have another general matrix uh, b is equal to a11 a12 a21 a22 so this subscript tells us that the element here is in the second row that is this two and in the first column this gives us the address of the matrix these subscripts give us the address of the matrix 
so to determine the number of uh, rows always count down we always uh, count down and to determine the number of columns always uh, we count across that is we count across so if we uh, uh, count uh, down like this so this gives us the number of this gives us the number of rows now if i have a general matrix that is a is equal to a11 a12 a13 similarly a21 a22 a23 and a31 a32 a33 now this double subscript gives us uh, this uh, subscript to an element here gives us the address or placement of the element within the matrix that is to say the first subscript here if i have this number here uh, this subscript this first subscript identifies the row in which the element appears so here uh, here the first subscript is 2 so this identifies the row that is this 2 uh, represents that this element is in first and second this element is in second row similarly this second here uh, this subscript identifies the column so this uh, tells us this element is in column first similarly if i have here a two three this two identifies the row that is first second we are in the second row here and this three identifies the column so here we are in column first second and third we are in column third and second row so every uh, uh, every subscript gives us the position of the element within the matrix if i have another example like if i have a11 a12 a21 and a22 now this uh, this two tells us that this element is in first and this is in second row second row and this one tells us we are in first uh, this element is in uh, second sorry first column so this these subscripts gives us the address or placement of the matrix within the uh, within the matrix here uh, if I give another example here it, it is a 3 3 this first 3 tells us the position of the row that is first second 3 this tells us the element is in the third row and this uh, second 3 tells us this element is at third column also first second and third now if we will see that transpose of a matrix if I have this this is uh, a is equal to uh, this uh, general matrix now the transpose of this element is if we interchange columns with numbers we will be transposing this element now the transpose of a matrix is interchanging rows with columns if i have this general matrix now the transpose of this matrix is denoted by that is a dash this a dash means the transpose of this general matrix now transpose is interchanging the rows with columns if i have here the rows here these are the rows if i interchange them with columns so these rows will become the columns so here it will become a11 a12 a13 we have placed rows in place of uh, columns and we have replaced columns with rows so he, here uh, this these were the rows and we have placed them in columns similarly this will become a21 a22 a23 similarly a31 a32 and a33 a31 a32 and a33 
थ्री सो वी हैव इंटरचेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ रोज विद कॉलम्स इफ आई हैव एन एग्जाम्पल लेट से आई हैव ए इज इक्वल टू और लेट से आई हैव बी इज ए मैट्रिक्स लाइक वन फोर वन सिक्स सेवन एट फाइव नाइन इफ दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स नाउ ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज डिनोटेड बाई बी डैश हियर आई विल ट्रांसपोज द रोवज विद कॉलम सो हियर दिस विल बिकम वन सिक्स सेवन एंड एट फाइव नाइन सो द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दिस बी इज दिस मैट्रिक्स इज दिस आई हैव इंटरचेंज रोवज विद कॉलम सिमिलरली इफ आई हैव एन अदर मैट्रिक्स लेट से ई इज इक्वल टू वन फोर सिक्स नाउ द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दिस इज ई डैश डेट मीन्स आई विल चेंज इट बाई कॉलम सो दिस विल बिकम वन फोर सिक्स आई हैव इंटरचेंज द पोजिशन हियर सिमिलरली इफ आई हैव एन अदर लेट से डी इज ए मैट्रिक्स डेट इज कॉलम मैट्रिक्स वन फोर एंड द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दिस विल बी डी डैश डेट इज I will interchange them with the rows, so this will become row will become column and column will become row here. This will become one and four. So interchanging the rows with columns gives us the transpose of a matrix.